Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu Welcome to Smartness Shines We change the name from Sparkling Penism to Smartness Shines Today we are going to do a tutorial on Google Earth Pro Now we have done a tutorial on Google Earth But we haven't done a tutorial on Google Earth Pro So we are going to teach you how to use it and first of all, we are going to start with the basics. Now, now I want to show you everyone. As you can see, there's some basics you need to know before you start using Google Earth. Number one. Okay. First of all, when we, oh, okay, how to move it. As you can see, you can move it by this cursor. So, as you can see, when I double click, I get closer to the earth. But, when I right click, when I right click, I get farther or closer to the earth. Okay. Now, what is the benefit of using Google Earth or Google Earth Pro? You see, Google Earth helps us to learn geography to learn the geography of our of our planet and about places of our planet now now we have some certain tools here click to move around of course they i rarely use this because i can also do it here it's not so much of a yeah i wanted to show everyone a trick Okay, now as you can see, currently this is North America, but it's upside down and you're not used to it. There are two ways you can do this. You have to hold the cursor, click, left click, and roll the cursor around. As you can see, we have North America back in its position. So okay so let's put it back here there's another trick you can do you can click this end from this top tool and put it back up okay so this is what else you can do now here's a very important thing i want to tell you about this earth now here you can see options i mean it's not technically options it's layers now in layers i can see borders and labels i click borders and labels you see i find some yellow stuff what is this yellow stuff, yellow stuff is the bo under borders they tell us uh i'll keep it straight to make it simpler because many people are used to seeing earth the earth this way because the earth should be straight exactly so of course, of course, the similarities are you can scroll, zoom in, search, uh, but the options is something cool. Now, borders and labels, it's optional if you want to see the borders or not. Now, if I click, if I click this again, the borders are not shown. But when I click it one more time, I can see the borders. Okay. Now let's see what other now search so what we can do with search so in search we can type like wait yeah there's few more i forgot there are few more things we have to show you so like the weather as you can see like when i zoom out there's nothing i don't know anything about the weather but when I click the weather option, I find clouds. Okay. So the clouds are like... So the clouds are like one place is cloudy. It's either... The weather button, what it usually does, its main purpose is to... Oh, uh, sure. Okay. Like, you can see the clouds here. Now you can watch. Now you can see. Now you can... So it's optional if you want to see the clouds or no. So this is a very big option. 
so and then you so basically yeah do you would, would you like to see the clouds or no and then it comes below the ocean when i click ocean okay you see ocean right over here my ocean okay so we click it see as you can see when i click the ocean wait i'm going to show you one more time when i no do not click ocean i can't see anything which is an ocean but when i click it again i find these dots and fish around i'll show you what these are when i click this fish which is u185 that's not a fish okay oh sh ship it's a ship now she uh, the u185 she sunk at august 24 at the mid atlantic due to depth charges from the avenger while cat aircraft of the american assault carrier us corp 14 from the queue of u6 u604 who were on board after being rescued by u185 also perished date sunk 24 august 1943 caused death charges loss of flight to uh, 29 dead and 22 survivors so when when you see these dead fish shines they always they always mean uh, a ship a ship has been now a ship has been destroyed now when i click this marine census okay marine census is a is a part of the ocean like it what's it trying to tell us and now with this one a bear a bear a rare biosphere in the below surface theme explorers inventory okay so these are all like places in ocean if you're interested good if you're not interested then click ocean but i recommend you to on the ocean it's very good one now, now i click global awareness there are so many pictures wait i will take out the other options and just the other options so that you can see what i am trying to tell you about here okay so i'll just zoom in to north america okay oh, this is can okay wait this is kansas you know i studied that and mississippi north dakota okay now when i click global awarenesses i get lots of pictures okay now when i click one of those pictures it's a certain place when on the hodge i not usually certain page place like ocean river something lake superior moose and wolves it tells you about the wildlife around so global awareness it tells you it gives you more detail about the place i recommend you using this it's very important it can uh, give you some um, lessons about the place also yeah now let's go to the some of the fun stuff when i click search let's choose a city uh how about how about mm, you guys very common so i'll try I'll try Paris. When I click enter, we it will take us to the city Paris. Okay. Now this is the city. Okay. We have the city in our hands. Nia. And number one, I'll choose a certain part of the city, like the Eiffel Tower. The, like the Eiffel Tower, and ooh, it, it's a little bit further than I thought it would be. So yeah, when I zoom in, just zoom a little bit out. As you can see, there's a lot of 3D buildings. Of course, Eiffel Tower is there, but all my buildings aren't 3D. Okay, I'll just zoom in for a little bit moment to show you what I mean. Okay, you, if you scroll so much, you can go to a landmark type area. 
I'll show you what I mean here, okay? Okay, I'll just I'll just show you in another area. Excuse. So yeah, like I was saying, here's the spot we were thinking about. Uh, so right now, yeah, it's right over there, our tower. Now when I zoom in here. As you can see, when I zoom in here, you can see my all of my build, all of the buildings here is in 3D. Okay, yeah. When you okay, it happens that when you go closer, closer, it'll either give you a street view or a 3D view. I like 3D view. As you can see, this building is made of is 3D. So here are the options. We have 3D buildings, right? So when I click 3D buildings, it's gone. I mean, it's not actually gone. It's there, but it's flat. You know, all of that. Like, click 3D buildings, you get it back. And another cool thing, you can in model mode. I call it model mode, but it's ground level view, and this is street view. You can see the streets very easily. Another thing I want to show you that when I click the front arrow, it's like stretching everything and I'm going forward. I can even do the same thing backwards. It's like the trees are walking currently. So, this is very cool. Okay, let's. Uh, I, I would be doing this for us, it's so fun. Okay, because learning is fun. Okay. Now, since we have the landmark. Now, suppose... Uh, I want to show another thing here. Uh, when I click... So, yeah. These are... Uh, I just told you the most of the basic tools. Now, let's go to these tools. Now, this one. This one is the upgrade. This one is the option. Do we want it to be here or no? Uh, search bar can also be there, of course. Or oh, search bar can be there or not. Now, so suppose like, uh, uh, okay. So suppose I use the spin. Okay, I, I click the spin. What happens is that I find a pin. Okay, not that dramatic. Cool, but not too cool. Okay, so I have this pin. And I point it here. Uh, I point it here. And I can name it. Name this place. No, 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 no. Come on. I can move this pin whenever I want. But I specifically want it on Paris. And then. Then when I type. See? <laughs> we can rename this thing. Now we can type like uh, we can call it home of the home of Eiffel Tower. Home of Eiffel Tower, and then we click the pin. And what type of pin you would like? Would it be this style of pin? Would it be a helicopter style of a pin? Or would it be any a color of a pin, you know? So basically, I uh, okay, and then you can you can even use a flag or stuff. And then you click okay, okay. Then it's gone if you click it. You shouldn't be too late on that. Now, now you should not cut it. You should click okay, okay. So. Home of Eiffel Tower, and basically, I like I said again, you can change it to whatever you want. But basically, I like using the letter. I like using the letter, not letter exactly. Yeah, this color is kind of cool. Okay, and okay. 
Now we have the pin. Can we move the pin anyone else? No, we cannot. See now the okay. Like we can do a, like this type of research. Okay. And uh, now we have that. Now what else we can do? We can like click on this home of the Eiffel Tower. Now when I so base so another tool I would like to show you is suppose we say how far is Eiffel Tower from Lily? You can do this with the software. So you can click this ruler icon. Now so line is basically very straight. I can go it's only straight. How is how far is Paris from Liege? It says here it's 351 kilometers. But what if I want to know how many inches? It's more it's more like 12 million. Something like that. Okay. So when I click path path same same thing now wait okay so when i click 3d path or polygon we can we can make it different like from here to here to here to here to here okay okay i think that was a little bit far to here to here to here to here to here as you can see, it has took more than 12 million approximately square meters, square feet. And save, you can save it and call it, you can call it my measure. My measure. Or something like that. And then you just have to click OK. And your measurement is still there. But if you don't want the measurement, don't click OK okay I mean like don't click that okay so even though when I know let's go to the other one let's go to somewhere else the mighty famous city of New York now as you can see New York so if I go to Kings Okay, kings maybe not. Uh, but then when I zoom in, we have this large city. Okay, so we have this large city uh, all of here. In here. Now let's go to a very public place. Yes, we don't want to be as lonely. Okay, now what we what else we can do here? You can see that I yeah here we have a city right over here. This distance, I think, is enough. Show your feature. When I click this, so historical distance. It shows 8 of 2018. I can go back in time to see how this place has changed from 1978. Obviously, you get limited pictures. And because it's a little bit old, some of the pictures may be black and white at some point. Maybe like 90... Okay, uh, maybe not always, but yeah, definitely there's a limit on how far you go. Okay, so let's just cut this feature and stay in present time, okay? Okay, so basically, this is another feature you can do. And there's a, also, yeah, I forgot. No this brightness it's very bright right now as you can see but when I go back it's darker now this is like sunset city night city at the night see city at the night or something like that so you can see at night to morning night to morning morning night morning night morning night I just wanted to do that because it will be a little bit dramatic that it's like going back in time. Now 
I would like to show you everyone another feature. When I click Saturn, we have Earth, Sky, Mars, and Moon. So when I click Moon, Earth login status loading Moon. And Assalamualaikum, we have the Moon. Okay. Now, as you can see, home, actually, home of the Eiffel Tower, the pin will be CSL here because um, for some reasons, typically. And uh, a whole bunch of stuff. Okay. Now, you can check the moon missions. Okay. But you can only search things which are of the moon. So, suppose I click Luna, Luna 20. Luna 20. Luna 20. Luna, it will take me to the mission. Luna 20. So, when I go closer, 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 closer. Uh, okay, we have, we also have... Uh, like those live modes where we can see the basic target. See, we are on the moon. Okay, not exact. Oh, this was fast. Okay, now here's like pattern diagram and all. We're pretty far from an. I thought pretty okay. Now enough of playing around. We can search for missions. We can search for moon places like um Mare Trank Mare Trank you you Willy Trank you Willy Tatis. I think it's all that search okay. Okay, maybe not always, but we have like uh, crater, crater, craters. Okay, now we get clone crater. I'm gonna go to the clone crater, and it takes me to the clone crater. And as you can see, plus not just the clone crater. Okay, I thought there was an astronaut mission back there. And there is this also YouTube video. Yeah, I forgot to mention that we can watch YouTube in Google Earth, but not specifically the... Okay, I'll show you how that we, we can do like that. Um, We could... I mean, wait. I just need to go closer point. Closer. Okay, I just want to click this button. I click this button. Okay, it happens. What is that? Now, you can watch YouTube, but I will not explain that. Now, we can also do this mode, but specifically, that does not work since there's no streets on the moon. So, we have the North Crater, Apollo Crater, this is the moon. So... Okay, now what we can do, there's no time option here for the moon, but we do have this option. I would, wait, the same features. Hmm, what is going on? Hmm. Oh, okay, okay. I just don't know what was going on, please. I, I don't know what was going on. And back there. So basically, as you can see, you can see e, the moon orbiting. This is a certain moment of time. Okay, everyone. That was. This is very surprising. I don't know how this happened. Add polygon. Add polygon. Cancel. It's still happening. I don't know what's going on. Please do not feel stuck. Also, we have a sky. Space. Okay, now the problem's gone. Now space. Suppose, yeah, as you can see, we have space. We're in space. Okay, now in space, I can search for like um 
it's being searched for lots of stuff. Of course, same things apply, going close, close and all. Yeah, that, all of that is so important. Now, what can we search for space? I have an idea. How about we search for Mirgo? And there's no such thing as Mirgo. <laughs> but Kepler, yeah, Kepler. When I press Kepler, come on, enter. Okay. Then how about I choose Virgo? Virgo is also placed in space. So when I type Virgo, so when I pre press Virgo and search. It has still no results. Okay, sextons. I'll type that. Sextons. Okay, it still has no results. But we can zoom in and all. Oh, yeah. I want to show you the Milky Way. Milky Way. My search has no results. Well, it's okay. Maybe I'm typing it wrong. But this is space. Anything is possible. So, when I show you down, it's so cool here. Okay? Same things apply here and there. Okay? Everyone. So, so I'll just try one more time. Okay, it has no results. Not at all. Um, we, we cannot search planets like Neptune in Google Earth. Now, Google Mars. Okay, it's not actually Google Mars, but welcome to Mars. How's your vacation? Do you like a vacation on Mars? It's really cool, you know? Okay, who takes vacations on Mars also? So... In C, this is a specific area point in mind. Okay, I just like doing that. So I can search places like on Mars, like Curiosity, Curiosity Nova of NASA. Uh huh. So this is okay. This is a place where Curiosity landed. I don't know if we can see Curiosity literally. I mean, like, literally seeing him totally. Maybe we can. Okay, Curiosity, he may be a tiny little robot, but he has went on from a big area in Mars. That is for sure. So, yeah, we can go to these. So, um... Um, so please, I hope you like my tutorial. I thought it would be a nice one to show you Google Earth Pro. So, when I, so, okay, when I click Viking Lander, just give me, uh, okay guys, just give me a minute. Okay guys, I just had to do something now. These are the stuff that we have. Yorktown. Ooh, that's pretty sweet. So, yeah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. So, I hope you like this tutorial. And, 